So how did you get started building guitars in the first place? Were you a player first, or did you sort of just develop an interest in it? Or um, Well, the first guitar I built was, uh, I was 16. And I played guitar since I was in third grade, took guitar lessons, and um, the I babysitted the neighbor's dog and saved up 15 bucks and bought a K guitar when I was in third grade because I wanted to be like the Beatles, you know. Yeah. And uh, bought it for my sister's girlfriend. And um, I, I quit taking guitar lessons for basketball lessons. And I, I don't play sports at all. Not, not interested in it at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, so I, I kind of gave that up and uh, then later got interested when I got older and uh, started to play some guitar again and then thought, well, you know, I, well, actually one day I was in a library in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, and uh, I was just standing there and I look and I see a book on guitar making. So I checked it out, took it home. My dad had a little basement and um, I made my first guitar there. And it was a disaster. Uh, I, don't, I didn't have any woodworking experience at all. And um, it, was, it was really crude. And uh, But I got hooked, you know. Then I found there was a guitar supply place in Baltimore called International Violin Supply Company, I think, in those days. So I went down after I built my guitar, I found out about this, and I went down and... Um, uh, um, found all this pre-cut wood and everything, it was great. So made my second guitar, and then just from then on, I just made guitars. And uh, would trade them for groceries, and um, this one girl made me a, a, a winter coat, a deerskin winter coat, and we traded a guitar. And, and then I, I played guitar quite a bit in Santa Fe uh, at different uh, restaurants and um, things like that. My girlfriend at the time played recorder, so we did um, some recorder uh, duets and guitar, and I played lute. And uh, I kind of built guitars on the side. And then I moved to San Francisco, and then I um, brought a guitar there, and. Uh, sold it at the music store like right away and they wanted like four or more. So that was kind of like the beginning of the idea that I could actually, you know, make a living uh, making guitars. So uh, moving to San Francisco and I just uh, started making guitars. So do you still have any of your early instruments at all? Like your first or second guitar or anything like that that you built? No, I wish. The, the first one I made in Baltimore it was so humid there that and I moved to New Mexico, which is very dry. And I had it in, the other, in, in a room one night, and uh, I just heard this explosion. And the guitar just developed a, just ripped open down the back about a quarter of an inch uh, uh, crack from one end to the other. Wow. So that, that was my lesson in humidity control. <laughs> But I, I gave that guitar to a girl, uh, an old friend of mine back in those days. That was in the mid-70s, I think. And, uh, yeah, I wish I could find it again. 